Well, thank you very much, Mr. Stratum. Now, earlier on, we chatted to Mnwabisi Tete, who highlighted the serious effects of the current drought that is being experienced in our country. And I'm joined right now by Professor Elon Adar, and uh, he is a world-leading hydrologist and water researcher, and he's been traveling around South Africa this week to share solutions on drought prevention and management that have worked in his home country. And we'd like to welcome him onto our Feel Good Breakfast Show. Thank you, Professor, for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. So I've got to ask first, this collaboration between uh, the, the Israel-South Africa Water Week, how did it come about? We have realized that nowadays in South Africa you face several sequen a sequence of several dry years. In Israel, we managed to overcome water scarcity. In spite of the fact located in the de in desert basin, desert land, mm -hmm. uh, we reached a stage where um, we reached the stage where we have surplus of water. And like online two nations, we would like to share it with other countries because water is food, water is life. Yeah. In the past week, you've been giving talks. Uh, you've been giving some advice and solutions uh, towards the question of how we can better manage our water scarcity situation. Are, are there actually solutions and what can people like us, ordinary people every day, do to ensure well, that we save what we have? We are the life proof that, yes, we have solutions. But the point is how to elevate the incentive for people to appreciate water not just as a natural resource, mm -hmm. but also as a commodity. Water has value, like oil and gas. Yes. And unless they have the incentive on saving water, using the water in the most efficient way, mm -hmm. people actually waste this resource. And therefore, you face nowadays water shortage. Mm -hmm. Because... It's natural yeah. phenomenon that, you know, we have some dry years, some wet years. However, the country should have the capacity to buffer, to bridge between dry to wet years. Mm. And of course, like, like you were saying earlier on, I think educating our people on how to better save water and use it wisely is, a, is a, what we need to do right now. But let's talk about from an infrastructural point of view. What can we do to improve our practices to make sure that we manage this situation as effectively as possible? S in simple words, you have to come up with a so-called water saving account. The capacity, the ability to save water from dry year to wet years. Mm -hmm. uh, the best reservoir, the best saving account for water is below surface groundwater. Okay. It maintains the quality and you can store enormous amount of water there. It needs infrastructure. You need wells. Mm -hmm. You need Abstraction, uh, ground, um, you, have to, uh, you have to explore yes. the, the, the storage capacity and, of course, uh, the ability to transfer water pipelines mm -hmm. from dry regions to wet. Yeah. This infrastructure has yet to be constructed, to build. Wow. It's not too late. But I was about to say, thank goodness for saying that. It really gives me a huge sense of relief. So we still have time. We just need to obviously act very quickly. Yes, because otherwise you will face so-called negative impact on your economy, which mm -hmm. I think you already feel it. Yeah. The major sector that consumes most of the water is the agricultural sector, and they are the first to suffer with all these social consequences. And you have to come up with sufficient amount of water to allow the farmers not just to survive, but to produce enough food for the country. Water is a synonym for food, and food is part of your homeland security. Absolutely. Well, Professor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Professor Elon Adar, hydrologist and water researcher who's here in South Africa, hopefully uh, to give us some solutions as to how we can manage our water crisis right now. And of course, as he said, it's important for us as people at home to learn how to manage our water because it is a scarce resource and water is life.